Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. You guys, this um, was not my intended video for this upload, but um, circumstances um, deemed it necessary. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can tell, I'm still a little bit under the weather. Thank you so much for all you guys who are sending out good, positive, healthy vibes towards our household. Um, everyone is going through something right now, especially with this weather, but um, and your journeys, you know, teething and things like that. But everybody's getting, it's okay. We're getting, you know, back to normal. Um, but you guys, yeah, so I feel like, you know, the main thing, if you are trying to come out here, whether to visit or to relocate to Tanzania, and I can only speak on Tanzania, um, I haven't yet visited the other um, countries yet, but we will be. <laughs> you know, um, that's a goal of ours. But um, I feel like one main thing that we tend to forget, and I and I believe is because we're so used to a microwave lifestyle. You know, coming from the U.S., is we lack patience. Okay, and that is something you are going to need. You are going to need patience. Okay, you're gonna need patience. Um. You want some fast food? <laughs> There's no such thing. You do not go to no restaurant hungry, okay? You are going to need some patience to get your food cooked right and thoroughly and come out yummy, okay? You're going to need patience. You're going to need patience um, to do business in Tanzania, okay? You're going to because everything takes long. <laughs> everything takes, you know, there's always some kind of curveball. There's, you know... Yes, money talks and, you know, things happen, but it's still, you still require patience, you guys. Um, learning the language takes patience, you know, you need to have patience with yourself, you need to have patience with others, you need to have patience when it comes to even being kind, okay? Let me tell you, um, our, we live on, you know, like the mountain and whatever, so coming, like, when we go downhill to go out to, like, the into town we're always coming across you know neighbors people who live in the area and everything and we're constantly giving rides y'all one time my husband gave a ride we were going somewhere and the usual spot is usually like right at the end of the um right at the end of the hilltop or whatever you want to call it and because that's where like the buses and everything else and you know the town part starts right y'all this one time, this woman had us driving her. Like, no, 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 they're not here, not here. She had us driving her. <laughs> she had us driving her, like, so beyond our way, you know? And at that point, it was like, she's already in the car, you know, we she has, she's carrying something. So it's like, you know, being kind, yes. It, you know, be patient as well with that, okay? Um, when it comes to even, like, you guys, leaving the people that you love behind, that will require some patience as well, okay? Because sometimes they will come out of pocket and it's really coming out of a place of love and missing you, but, you know, it is what it is. You are here, they're not, um, and they sometimes they might not, you know, put, comprehend that this is your home now. Like, where you or your family are, that is your home. So sometimes that, you know, takes patience as well. Um, everything, you guys, growing your own food, if that's what you choose to do, you know, um, which a great tip with that, I believe, you know, start off with things that grow like fairly easily, you know, cause sometimes we, you know, we need that little boost of confidence. Um, for instance, like we, I grew, um, um, green scallion, um, through onions, you know, and that's a fairly very easy thing to do. And, you know, as everything else is taking forever, <laughs> it seems to grow. At least you have that to be like, oh, yeah, I grew something, you know, and you can actually keep using it over and over again. So, um, yeah, you guys, you have to grow on your patience. You have to. There's no going around it. it kids, if you have children, that requires a lot of patience in a new country, anywhere. And what do I feel like? <laughs> There's a little one. I'm beating the wall. Journey, what are you doing? Y'all, Journey is a whole other story, okay? He is his own boss. He does. 
<laughs> journey can be a little a rude boy you know um but yeah that's my little booty um <laughs> you have to have patience you guys you have to have patience with yourself um right now um i'm working strictly on as far as internet goes i'm working off of data that's on my phone and that requires patience there's so much time i just want to toss my phone or toss my computer because we're not we're waiting on something very specific so that we can get get back the um the regular and we're waiting on a couple of things but there's one specific thing we're actually waiting on as well to get our regular internet running so that you know i'll be posting a lot more for you guys and doing other things that require the internet patience <laughs> everything requires patience and you know i think when i first got out here you know i was really like doing the start and get into the garden thing and um you know that taught me a lot of patience you know i thought i had somebody that had patience well no that's a lie i had nothing on patience you know i had i had enough patience for my children and that was it <laughs> that was it you know but i living out here i'm gaining a lot more patience you guys and, and it's kind of like, it's a must. There's no getting around it. Um, even with that sports guys that come out here, um, you know, welcome, you know. But y'all, we're not all cut from the same cloth, okay? We all come from different situations, different backgrounds, and we will need patience with one another as well. Um, what that may look like for you, I don't know. For me... Um, I'm a little bit of introvert, you know, when I see you, I see you when I don't, I don't, um, because you have to guard yourself as well. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can, you can have patience for others, but that doesn't mean you have to, um, basically put yourself aside and, you know, no, like you, you come first, you have to put yourself in the right mindset. You have to keep your, keep your mental going. You know what I mean? Like you can't, um, just exude all patience to everything and just give, 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 give of yourself. No, that's not what I mean by patience. Patience just looks like, you know, um, being understanding, um, as far as the language goes, like with yourself, like, you know, a lot of us out here are grown, like learning a new language is not the easiest thing. Okay. You know, matter how, e how, you know, easy it might be for someone else. It's not the easiest thing, you know, so I just have patience, you know, like things take time. And when, you know, when that time is up and you're getting things together, you know, what's going on, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna, um, be all that better for you. So say hi, babe. Mumbo. <laughs> See, mumbo. That's the extent of it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so you guys have patience with yourselves have patience with each other have patience with the country have patience with the state of the world right now do what you can and keep your mind going um keep your heart right and yeah and you'll see that you know it brings out a better outcome on things and you're you're a lot more relaxed when that you know and in tune with what's going on and you're just you're not overwhelmed okay so Hope you enjoy this video, you guys. Thank you, and have patience with me. And do it for the next one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.